Imagine how it feels to be able to do something today Not bad. that you haven't been able to do in years. This is where I've noticed the most change out of anything is just at the driving range. In order to appreciate why something as simple as hitting a golf ball gives new hope, you have to learn how Chris Zito got here. Six months ago, he made the life-changing decision to undergo gastric bypass surgery after his weight grew to more than 400 pounds. For 30 years, I've been gradually getting bigger, but it wasn't until the last, let's say, five years that it's really started to have an effect on my life. Playing with his daughter, walking upstairs, getting up from a chair, all of it was getting harder. After years of trying to lose weight through diet and exercise, Chris decided surgery was the only hope to finally getting healthy. The laparoscopic procedure created a new, smaller stomach, which would forever change how Chris eats food. My whole abdomen is kind of swollen. We followed Chris as he recovered from surgery. My calorie intake is uh, maybe a third a quarter of what it used to be. For the first two weeks. Now the trick with the soup was everything had to go into the blender. He could only sip liquids and take small bites of pureed foods, a stark contrast from the entire pizzas he used to eat. And he started taking vitamins and supplements. So that's my new pharmacy right there. Which he'll need for the rest of his life because the surgery makes it harder for Chris's body to absorb nutrients. On the day of surgery, Chris weighed 372 pounds. 12 days later, he's dropped to 357. You look pretty good. Feel pretty good. So far for Chris, no pain or side effects. He can tell his stomach's smaller. When I took a little too big drink of water, I, it got real tight. All of you are about um, two weeks out from surgery. He doesn't have a lot of energy. I got home yesterday and was wiped out. But his nutritionist says, You just really started stage three. That's normal. This is Chris one month in, and he's already noticing small differences. The stairs at work are easier. There's less strain on his joints. When I'm moving, that's when I feel the, the weight loss. He's working out more and getting stronger. Not bad. I feel like before the surgery, if I had tried to do a treadmill, I'd be probably doubled over gasping for breath about now. Two months later, he's down to 330 pounds. So grab my daughter's bowl. The eating's a little weird. You know, that's, that's been a big adjustment. Having a stomach the size of an egg means he has to chew his food thoroughly, and sometimes his body will reject it. Sometimes my, my body just says, nope, we're not, we're closed, and essentially I have to spit it out. It's not Chris has lost so much weight, these clothes don't fit him anymore. I don't want to say it was tight, but it, it was snug. Chris wore this jacket when he interviewed at King two years ago. It's, it's too big to wear now. I just have to get rid of it. He's finally wearing jeans for the first time in years and getting rid of the 4XL clothing. This has to feel good. It feels good. It feels real good. Those who have gone through bariatric surgery call them non-scale victories. The thought of traipsing around a farm, chasing my daughter through a corn maze, that doesn't give me any pause. And golfing? Oh, there we go. The biggest victory so far. It was like an out-of-body experience. What used to be a painful, frustrating experience. I got 20, 30 balls in and my shins were just on fire. Is now giving Chris a new sense of confidence. Hit about 90, didn't hurt. Chris still has a long way to go. He's only halfway to where he wants to be. It's given me more motivation to continue. If, if I'm hitting like this now, what happens the next 100 pounds? You excited about the future? Yeah, definitely, definitely. What an incredible story. We have had so many viewers send us messages in support of Chris, so thank you for sending in those messages. We are very proud of him as well for going through this, something super scary and drastic. But now the moment we've all been waiting for. We're gonna show you how much he has lost so far. So here's a look at Chris before. He started at 414 pounds. He had to lose 40 pounds before he could even have the surgery. Today he weighs 318 wow, that's so great. pounds. That's almost 100 pounds. Yeah. 
Wow. He's halfway there, though. He said this morning that he wants to lose another 100, getting closer to the 200-pound mark. But again, it is about the non-scale victories that's really most important. We also want to say that while this surgery was successful for Chris and he hasn't had any negative side effects, the surgery isn't for everyone, and it certainly doesn't come without risks. Weight loss surgery isn't a solution. It's a tool to lose weight. We have all of this online, including diaries from Chris and what he's gone through. And coming up 10 o'clock this morning, we'll also be doing a Facebook Live with Chris and his surgeon, Dr. Nguyen. So send us those questions. Text us 206-448-4545. And keep those uh, positive comments coming for Chris. He needs them. Yeah. And this is a, one of our family members we work with every day, produces the Kong Show. What's it been like for you to cover this journey? Uh, it's a great responsibility and a privilege, really, to tell his story and to, to be able to share something so personal for him with the viewers. Um, it, it came from a place of genuine, uh, f for him, he wanted to help others. That's why he's telling a story. He even feels lighter, his attitude, just he's so much happier, so, so happy for him. Yeah. Thanks, Chris, for sharing. Uh, thank you, Mimi.